the derivative is one of the three basic concepts of calculus. And basically this video is about what it is. There's a little bit about uh, the theory behind it, but really you don't need to know much about the theory behind it. In practice, there are formulae uh, that basically you use uh, that you don't have to know the, the details of how the formulae came about and how the, the mathematicians developed them. But basically, a derivative is, it's gra if you think of it graphically in terms of a graph, it is an equation, a derivative is an equation that will always give you the slope of the tangent line to some other function when that slope exists. So this is helpful because let's say that you were to go for a run. On a, let's say you went for a run on a, a straight line just to keep it simple. But you sped up and you slowed down, you sped up, you slowed down. But let's say somehow you knew exactly where you were at every point, say every second, let's say, you were on a GPS that told you exactly where you were. Well, you could graph uh, distance in relation to time, how far you had gone for each unit of time. Well, if you could, gra if you graph that, the slope to that graph would basically tell you your instantaneous velocity at a particular point in time. So you can tell the velocity of things that are changing speeds, uh, changing velocities. Uh, there's a difference between velocity and speed technically, but I'll ignore that for now. Um, you can tell the different, the instantaneous velocity um, by knowing the slope to the graph of your distance versus time um, at any particular point in time. You could also, for example, let's say that you you graphed the growth of a population over time or the growth of bacteria in a petri dish over time. If you graph that, then the, the derivative equation is going to tell you the slope to that graph at every point in time. Uh, and if you know the slope, then you know how it is, what the instantaneous rate of change is uh, of growth of bacteria, for example. So this is a very, very, very useful uh, thing to be able to do to be able to find the derivative of an equation because that's going to give you an equation for the slope to that equation at any particular point in time. Now here's the underbelly of it and you don't need to actually know this or, or even understand this to be able to find the derivatives of a great great many equations. So this is just uh, to do you know to basically do due diligence on what basically we're talking about here. The slope of a line you may remember is the rise over the run. The rise over the run is the slope of a line. So if I wanted to know the slope of this dotted line, right, dashed line right here, it would be delta y, which means the change in y, over uh, delta x, which is the change in x. So delta y divided by delta x gives you the slope of this line. Now let's say we wanted to know the slope of, the lo of, of a tangent line at, say, some random point like that. It was Newton and some others back in the 1600s that had this breakthrough and of course uh, Car uh, Descartes helped them uh, by developing the, this, this graphing Cartesian coordinate system that c enabled them to come up with this. But basically, uh, at least over time, for, for this calculus to develop, if, if we talk about the limit of delta x as that limit as delta x approaches zero, then in effect what we're talking about is, and let's see if I can get the, there's the arrow, if, if I can make this change in x smaller and smaller, let's say I'm trying to find the slope at that point there, then if I make this delta x smaller and smaller and smaller, and then this line here gets closer and closer and closer to the tangent line at that particular point. So the limit as delta x approaches zero is going to get me closer and closer to um, this particular point. And of course delta y is going to change at the same time as I'm changing delta x. As delta x is getting smaller and smaller, then delta y is also getting smaller and smaller. Now. Here's the, here's the thing, delta y is basically, um, in function language, y is the function of x. y equals f of x. And so, 
f of x, let's say that, that this is f of x, that we're talking about what y is at, if I can get the arrow to come back, if I talk about what y is at that point, then that's f of x. So f plus delta x is a little bit further out, and it's going to be f of x plus delta x is going to be y at, at that point. So the limit as delta x approaches zero um, of f of x plus delta x is that delta y getting smaller and smaller and getting closer to, uh, to the tangent line. Well, let's look at what that, how that turns out. So the formula for a de derivative is the limit as delta x approaches zero of, of, of y at the delta x, x plus delta x, that's y a little bit further out, minus what y was at x divided by the change in x. Let me see if I can come at this again to explain it. This is basically a fancy way of saying delta y divided by delta x. Remember that the, the slope is the rise over the run. The slope is delta y divided by delta x. And so this equation is basically, there's the o divided by delta x part, that the delta y part is basically what y is at x and then what y is a little bit further out at x plus that little extra change in x. And so the limit as that delta x gets smaller and smaller and smaller, as that change in x gets smaller and smaller and smaller, then delta y divided by delta x gets closer and closer and closer to the tangent line at that particular point. And so this turns out to be the, the, the uh, by, if you plug an equation, any equation into this, um, you're going to come out with the formula or the equation for the slope at every particular point. Let me give you an example of what that looks like. So let's say we wanted to know what the slope of the tangent line to the parabola y equals x squared, what, what is that slope at the point 1, 1? Well, first, let's find out what the equation of the slopes at any point, what the, what the equation for the derivative is. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our formula for finding the derivative. And again, in practice, you don't need to know this. Um, this, this their formula, but this is how, how, how they got the formulas. So let's say, since I'm, I'm going with y equals x squared, then f of x plus delta x is going to be x plus delta x squared. y equals x squared, so the, the x in there is x plus delta x squared. Minus f of x, well, what is f of x? f of x is y x squared, divided by delta x. So there I've got, I've got it all set up to find out what the slope is, what the equation for the slope is to this parabola at every point. And so, I'm going to multiply it out. When you have this kind of a setup, it's going to end up being x squared on the one end and delta x squared on the other end. And then this times this doubled, x delta x doubled is 2x double delta x minus x squared over that. Okay, now we're going to, to play it out and reduce it. So, I... Uh, for the sake of space, x squared minus x squared over here. Oh, I didn't get it into the square format, but that's x squared minus x squared. That's going to be zero, so blup, blup, that goes away. Then let me factor out the delta x from this. So take the delta x out of there, and I have 2x. Take the delta x out of there, and I have delta x. So there I've got that uh, in a usable form. Delta x divided by delta x is 1, so that's going to cancel out. By the way, that will always happen. You can't, you can't bring the delta x to zero um, when it's in this format because you can't divide by zero. Uh, but no matter what formula you plug into this, the delta x will cancel out like that, and you'll be left with 2x plus delta x. Now, now, I can, now I'm allowed to make delta x go to zero. When delta x goes to zero, that'll disappear, and I'm left with 2x. So y equals 2x is the equation for the slope to y equals x squared at any point of that. And of course, at the point 1, 1, I'm going to plug in the 1. Uh, 1 times 2 is 2. So 2 is going to be the slope of the tangent line uh, to this parabola at the point uh, 1, 1. So that's a bit, a bit complicated. 
and um, it can take your some time to get your head around exactly what we're we're saying here. Uh, but the good news is is that you really don't need to know uh, this formula uh, in practice. There are simple simplified formula for finding the derivative of a power, for example. I know that the if you want to find the derivative of x squared, you just multiply two times whatever's on the front of the x uh, and bring it down a power. Uh, so 2x to the first power, uh, which is um, 2x, and that's what we found out. I just I knew that without having done any of this because I've memorized the power formula for the derivative. So this has been how to find, or basically what a derivative is and uh, some of the theory behind it.